Our Ooh. first question comes from Rashonda, and she has a question about the times that we're living in. Her question is, if you go into a hospital and end up catching COVID or some other kind of illness that you didn't have when you went in, can that be considered malpractice? I would doubt it. Uh, I mean, that's just, it's kind of like uh, an infection that you get in the hospital, whether you get MRSA or some kind of infection that it's just there. It's a, it's a risk of going in. I guess a, there could be a breach of some protocols that might um, raise a, a, an issue of fact about it, but more likely than not, I would say it is not a medical malpractice issue. What, what is your take on that, BJ? Yeah, you're, you're right. I, the legislature passed a law back well, during the epi- a pandemic that you might have noticed in the go with businesses now they have a big sign on the front door that says pursuant to such and such a code section we're not responsible if you catch covid um so you see those because if the law says if you have that on your front door they can't hold you liable or sue you for getting covid whether that's enforceable or not there's another question but you'll see okay. that outside okay. that. well let me ask you this what if you go in there they have the sign on the door and uh they uh, you know, have uh, people in the ER who are, are admitting people and they know that they have a COVID patient in a room and they, and you are elderly and have comorbidities and they take you and put you in that room with those people. Does that take that beyond the, the statute uh, passed by the legislature? Well, or, it, or are you, are you a prisoner of that? No, I think you're, you know, the statute also provides, as I recall, there's a heightened level of care or culpability you have to show. So if they're negligent, maybe not. But if they did something more egregious, you may be able to hold them accountable. So it's almost like the uh, emergency room statute. You right. Similar to show a, a showing of not even slight care. Right. And Morgan, that brings us to another question that BJ raised the issue of, of the legislature and our General Assembly who back in 2005, I believe it was, BJ, Correct. Yes. passed a uh, bill that uh, said that in order to hold any anybody performing emergency room work or emergency procedures uh, was held to a much higher standard in terms of proof of negligence. You had to prove gross negligence. And, uh, and it's hard enough to bring a malpractice case to start with. The thing that defeats them mostly is, is that it is so time intensive, uh, it's so expensive, it's, it's emotionally trying to, to bring forth a medical malpractice case. And, and there are many, many medical malpractice cases that, are, that never see the light of day because they don't involve uh, sufficient injuries or damages. And that's the sad state of affairs. 